Hello folks, today we're going to quickly show you how to set up mail in um, Plesk. Plesk is a web post management software um, built by Parallels. Um, first of all you're going to need your URL for the server, that is provided by your web host. If you're running it yourself then you hopefully you know that detail already. Um, we're going to log in as administrator, that's quite important. You need to log in as administrator or somebody who has privileges to um, add and amend and delete um, email accounts. Um, so I'm going to log in. Administrator is the only account that I have that does that at this stage. Um, I'm using a little bit older version of Plesk here but the new one is, is pretty much the same. Um, if you click domains in the top left and the server is not available, that's a shock. <laughs> Just going to restart my server. If I ever get that error it's probably because it's run out of some sort of memory. I'm just going to give it a minute to do that. Plesk is, is fairly hungry on the juice, so um, if you've got a low spec server like I'm running here for the sake of the videos, then you probably find that you run into this problem quite a lot. So as it's going through this, I'll quickly talk about what I'm going to do. Um, we've logged in as administrator so we can look at all the domains on the site. Um, we're going to go to one of those domains and we're going to create an account. And the server refuses to stop. That's not good. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, a minute's passed and the server is restarted. So I'm going to click on domains again and hopefully this time we won't get this service not available now. Error, we will get into the panel deep breath and now there we go okay right we've got the mail server settings here that's not what we're looking at that is sort of the global settings for the mail what we want to do is go to the domains I've got 10 domains on this server um, I'm going to look at this one here the wonkyibifa.com and I click on that it's going to load up a new page okay and now here we have the, the mail accounts of this particular um, server. If I create a new account, I can create an email address and a password. Oops. Okay. Um, there's some various settings here. Nothing crucial here. Um, allow multiple processions means that more than one person can use the email account at the same time. We'll leave that on. Uh, and another little option for people who will log into the Plesk as the email user just to make sure that they don't click around until the page is finished loading. We're going to give it a mailbox and we'll give it the default size which is unlimited in this case or you can set a specific size if you want to limit the amount of email that they use. And we're going to hit finish, passwords don't match, that's a shock. Let's try that again. Okay, so here we go, now we've got a mail group. If we fire off an email to email at wonkyibifa.com that will now appear in the inbox. Um, other things you can do is create aliases. Um, basically now if we somebody sent an email to um, shopping at wonkyibifa.com that would then end up in the email at wonkyibifa.com email box. Um, so you can now email both of those addresses and they will all appear in the same mailbox. Um, let's go back a step um, let's look at these mail accounts now. So I've got a few set up here like info is one that's set up with a few bits on pieces. It's got uh, five aliases so if you email Thai, Sales, Press, Contribute or Admin they will all go to um, the info at account. If I go back one again and I'll show you um, Chris at wonkyibifa.com this has no mailbox at all I chose the no option and if you have a no option on um, a mail account basically all you can do with it is, is redirect the email so when the email arrives at the server it then pushes that email out again and basically re-emails it to another address okay so that's a redirect and basically it's actually forwarding back on itself in this case to info at one Beefer. but this could be any email this could be um, like a hotmail account or, or whatever you like um, whatever you have access to or whoever you want to send it to so if, you, if you've got emails that you need to forward on to a client or or to, um, to a friend then you can do it um, through that um, and again you can use aliases again for this one so we can put
chris.c like so and that will now any emails that go to chris.c will also then be redirected to the email address we have here okay and that's pretty much all we have to it I hope that's um, made installing an, a uh, a new email account quite easy I was just deleting an alias there and if you want to delete an actual mail account that's really easy as well you just select it and click remove confirm it and bingo so yes that should be everything covered for the basic email settings to create and delete emails and, and to add aliases and redirects